Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Last time we earned our 8th and final gym badge here in Zootopolis City. But as you notice, I'm not actually visible in Zootopolis. I'm here in my bag because we are outside of the Pokemon Center and I'm about to use the Eon Flute for the first time to summon Latios, uh, although in... Omega Ruby, it'd be Latios, and even though we have both of them, they still do Latios, the one we originally encountered. Uh, we're gonna use the Eon Flute to fly back to Little Root Town, and then fly near Route 111 at the Desert Resort. At <laughs> the Desert Resort, oh my god. Uh, the Desert, Desert Resort is in Pokemon, in the fifth generation, in Unova, oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, Eon Flute, let's go. And as you see, Latios Mega Evolves. Latios will also Mega Evolve when it comes to the Eon Flute. Really, really cool little touch there. Anyway, here we are, back in Little Root Town. Let us land, and let us go visit Professor Birch. Oh, we might as well visit our mom, too. It's been quite a while since we've done that as well. Alright, let's go visit everybody here in Little... Might as well visit every... I'm just kidding. We'll just visit our home, which is conveniently right next door to us. When we land, we land pretty much right in the middle of town next to our houses. I actually just healed at the Pokemon Center, but okay, Mom, we'll, we'll rest. Okay, I'm kind of hungry, but I guess I can make myself something sometime later. Uh, actually, before we go into the lab, right here is the Mewtwo Knight X. After we conquered the legendary Pokemon Kyogre, Mega Stones that did not appear beforehand were sprinkled all around the Hoenn region. Uh, I don't know how many of them exactly, but uh, the Mewtwo Knight X right there now in the corner of Little Root. Anyway, let's go visit Professor Birch's lab. Welcome back, James. You must be tired after all your recent exploits. May has been keeping me updated about all of your grand adventures around Hoenn. After hearing all you've been up to, there is something I'd definitely like to share with you. The fact of the matter is that you, after you resolved that kerfuffle with the super ancient Pokemon, a number of Pokemon never before recorded in the Hoenn region began to appear all over. Those Pokemon are precisely the subject of my long, many years of research. There are Pokemon which are thought to have resided in Hoenn thousands of years ago. We finally are able to meet Pokemon never before seen, the very Pokemon I pursued after all these years. I'm so excited I feel I'm about to burst. So excited I went right ahead and upgraded the Pokedex to be ready for all of them. Now, let me upgrade your Pokedex while you're here. And our Pokedex has been updated to the National Mode. You'll now find the National Pokedex on your Pokedex's menu, so use it well. It is being suggested that Hoenn is now more hospitable to Pokemon after that incident in Zootopolis. However, that does not necessarily mean the environment has become any more hospitable to humanity. People, Pokemon, and Nature. The balance between these three great ecosystems has shifted greatly. I can't wait for you to start exploring this new world. Exploration may help us learn how to best to coexist with Pokemon from this time forward. I hope you will find your own answers to this great question as you continue your journey with your Pokedex. Thank you, Professor Birch, and actually, speaking of Mega Stones, we actually did miss one in Zootopolis, so before we actually be continue the adventure to the Evergr to Evergrande, Evergrande City, the location of uh, the Pokemon League in this game, and after we go back to the desert on the Eon Flute really quickly, uh, we will stop back in Zootopolis to show off actually a few things that I forgot to show off before. So, Latios Mega Evolve, and let's fly to... What would it be best? Mo oh, well, I don't have Rock Smash, so... Uh, huh. Well, let's see, where are we? We need to be on Route 111. Can I fly directly to Route 111? I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. I did peek in there once, I think, in the desert, so... Without the Go Goggles, so I think I'll be able to... 
Okay, I'm pretty much right outside here. Perfect. And for a second, I thought that backpacker was going to battle me. And put on the go goggles, as you can see. Look at that. We have goggles. We look like an ant. We look like Ant-Man. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to spray a repel just to be on the safe side. Don't remember if I had one up or not, so... Let's spray that there. There we go. We still have about 50 super repels left, which is really good. Uh, there is something I do want to get over here. There are some items as well. I'm going to try to avoid trainers because we're actually really overleveled compared to all these trainers. So try to not face any of them. Uh, can't be helped some of them probably. I'll just cut it out. Anyway, TM37 Sandstorm right here. There we go. Also gets you a little bit of a better look at the Go Goggles. Uh, let's see. We're still going to try to avoid trainers while picking up items. A bug catcher in the desert. Yeah, I don't really get it either. Uh, actually, I think there are a lot of hidden items with the dowsing machine. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's a rare candy right here. Okay, I forgot this rare candy was right here, so that actually is pretty funny. And there's a revive right in this rock. It, are we? No, we're not. We're right in front of the rock. Okay. Alright, we're in front of Dwayne Johnson. Okay, there we go. Spray Super Bell. This is what I was looking for. We found some fossils. The root fossil. No, we will not take the root fossil. Uh, the root fossil contains Lilip. And this is the claw fossil, which contains Anorith. I actually prefer the claw fossil, so I am going to take it. And we will head to Rustboro to revive the fossil in just a second. As you see, once you pick one of the fossils, the other one just disappears into the sand. Yeah, kind of harsh for the other fossil, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I think that's all the items that I wanted to get right here. And make sure we don't face you. That would be... Oh, nope, there's an item right here. Luckily, I actually traveled over this way a stardust that's perfect that will give us a lot of money too okay we can just actually fly out of here from here <laughs> we basically look like an ant we have the eyes and we have antenna that's actually amazing okay so let's get back on the uh, let's get back on the eon flute we will ride the eon flute to the century and the stars and you know all right let's get on the eon flute <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. Let's get on Latios. Thanks to the Eon Flute. There we go. Third time's the charm. And now let's head back to Sutopolis. I mean, it doesn't look as far away when you're on the legendary Pokemon, but still, interesting. Okay, so we're pretty much back in Sutopolis now. Oh, I need to also go to Rustboro. I was, I was supposed to do that before coming back here. It's fine. Uh, anyway... Let's surf across the water here and head back towards the Cave of Origin, because there is one thing I want to collect, and one thing I want to point out. Now, if you haven't played X or Y, this is going to be a bit of a spoiler, so I guess skip ahead in the video by like a minute or two. Uh, hopefully a minute or two, hopefully I don't take forever to explain this, but nonetheless, let's head over here. Uh, by the way, if you're going to skip ahead in the video, I suggest you do it right about now. Okay, so if you stuck around, over here, there's this big giant tree. Now, I th think you mentioned this. No, you are not the one who mentions this. Okay, there's... I think it's in the after game. I almost spoiled the after game. Uh, in the after game... Well, I'm gonna spoil it, technically. Uh, in the after game, it's mentioned that a giant man brought this gigantic tree to Sutopolis City. Now, for those who've played X and Y, you know this man as Trainer AZ, a 3,000-year-old man. And uh, there are a bunch of flowers right here. These flowers, actually, I believe it's every single flower that Flabebe, the fairy-type Pokemon introduced in the sixth generation in X and Y, I do believe these are all the flower colors it can have. Let's see. Orange, red, blue... I don't see any white flower. Okay, so white flower is the only thing I think that's missing, but do you see a certain three-petaled red flower? Do you see it? See that there? That's actually designed after AZ's Floet, the evolution of Flabebe. His Floet is very unique. It's actually, there's a, it's called, uh, what form is it? Oh my god, the pure form? I don't... 
Now, it's some type of form, but it, it has an official name, and it's coded actually in both X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Uh, this form is very special. It has a special new move called Light of Ruin, a uh, very powerful fairy type attack. But uh, AZ's Floet, very interesting. When we get to X and Y, actually, though, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So, there we go. That is everything involving AZ, Sutopolis, Floet, all that stuff. Uh, and I'm going to wait a moment just in case people are coming from skipping. One, two, three. Hello, everybody. Welcome back if you skipped ahead. And by the way, over here is the Sable Knight, the Mega Stone for Sableye. Yeah, so I did say three of my Pokemon were capable of Mega Evolving. I told you. So, let's get that Sable Knight. I'm... There we go. Oh my god, it was so hard to press. The Amulet Coin, yes, switch the Amulet Coin. Uh, who should I give the Amulet Coin now, then? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter right now. But anyway, there we go. Three of our Pokemon now capable of Mega Evolving, Swampert, Sableye, and Glalie. Alright, and now we can leave Sutopolis and it, well, actually, we're probably going to be coming back here anyway to start heading to Evergrande City, but... Nonetheless, let's get back on Latios through the Eon Flute. And let's head to Rustboro City to revive the fossil that we got. I do believe in this game they allow you to revive it and they just send it to the PC. I hope I'm right about that. Now, let's see. Let's head over here. Head here. Head here. And look at that, Rustboros. Oh, nope, you can't land right there, Latios. There we go, now we can land. Actually, while I'm here, I can also get another Mega Stone. I forgot to go back and show that intriguing stone. Being a Mega Stone, if you talk to uh, President Stone at the Devon, Devon Corporate. Devon, Devon, it don't really matter. Devon, 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 whatever. Uh, but anyway, if you come into the gym. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, what am I thinking of? No, is. It's in this gym, isn't it? Oh god, where's the fossil reviver in this game? Oh god. Oh no, wait a minute. Wait. Oh god, I forgot where the fossil reviver is. Well, uh, I'll have to look that up. But anyway, let's come... Oh wait a minute, no. I think the fossil reviver is here, isn't it? Let's head up the stairs. I think it's one of these people in here. Is it you? <laughs> uh, basically, his rival is, uh, uh, oh god, what's her name? Damn it, she's from Unova. Oh god, what's her name? I keep forgetting things, no! Oh, I keep forgetting, the what is her name? There's the fossil guy, hello! Yes, you're researching Pokemon fossils, yes. Turn the claw fossil back into a Pokemon. Luckily, you don't have to leave the room. In order to do that. And yes, it was sent to box one. We got Anorith. There we go. Oh, what's her name? Damn it, that's gonna escape. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad if I don't remember her name. Uh, Prof... What's her name? Professor... Oh god, what... What is she? Oh, what is... She's friends with Professor... I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh, this is gonna bother me if I don't look this up right now. What is her name? Once I know her name, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot. I'm gonna have to look this up. What What is her name? Uh, Striaton City. I'm gonna have live action looking up things. Striaton City. The, the, I'm gonna be so pissed off. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember it. What is it? What? I I'm looking this up right now, fam. For now! Oh my god! Son of a bitch! I knew it! Oh my god, I forgot it. Damn it! Okay. Okay, let's load up the th I'm scaring myself right now. Th this is a scary episode to produce. Alright, let's leave, let's leave the de- Oh, no, I have to show off the intriguing stone to Professor Stone. Oh, God. I'm just out of it. That took the life out of me, trying to remember Fennel. Uh, we don't need repels anymore. Let's show off the intriguing stone to President Stone at the Devon Corporation. Hmm. Ah, that intriguing stone you have. On second look, it seems to be Pidgeotite, doesn't it? And there we go, we've obtained the Pidgeotite. To be carrying around a mega stone like that, it looks like you're also a bit of a connoisseur. I'm not silent. 
I'm Orlando, slash Brendan, slash James. Anyway, now we can leave the Devon Corporation. I, f I feel like such an idiot not remembering Fennel's name. Oh my god. Now her name's gonna be stuck in my mind forever now. Well, at least, like, probably the next couple days. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god. Back, back on the, back on the Lottie we go with the Eon Flute. Oh my, I can actually, since I've already been to a certain route, I think I can just fly onto the route. It's gonna be a bit awkward, I'm gonna have to jump off of Latias and basically send out Swampert right away. But, uh, I think... Like, the name of something doesn't show up if you haven't been there yet, I think, right? Uh, well, no. Right here. Yeah, if you haven't been there yet, it doesn't show up. Good. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well, there's actually something very special with Mirage Spots. Oh, that's why it never activated, because I didn't use the Eon Flute yet. Alright, well, let's fly to Route 126, and now we'll start heading to Evergrande City. Although, I think that might be next time, because this has gone on really long already. Uh, let's see, how far are we away? You know what, I think, no, we'll just head there now. Might as well just head all the way there. Alright, there we go. Hopefully, we don't face any trainers. I'll try to be careful about that. Uh... Let's see here. Wait, what? I had a rappel up. Pelipper? What are you doing? Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, what? Oh, no, I didn't have a rappel. Oh, my God. I forgot I took it off when we were at the Devil on Court. Oh, my God. I'm just completely out of it now. Dr. Fennell, what did you do to me? Professor Dr. Fennell, what, what have you done? You, you have made things very weird for me. Uh, we... Oh, no, we actually do have to go, like, all the way over here. Alright, let's head on to Route 127. Now nah, we can head down. There we go. Oh, my God. I'm, like, completely out of it now. I sincerely apologize. Alright, Route 128. There we go. Getting ever so closer. And we are pretty much there now. Oh my god, we narrowly avoided that guy right there. We narrowly avoided that swim. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. We avoided everybody. That's good. For a second, I was a little bit scared. Anyways, we have arrived in Evergrande City. I don't think there's anybody required to... Nope. Nope. We don't have to face anybody. Oh, I need to teach Waterfall. Oh, goodness gracious. Um... I'm gonna have to get rid of something, aren't I? I think I'm gonna get rid of Di You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of Dig for Waterfall, and in between episodes, I'll fix up Swampert's moveset. Because we can do that. Alright. Swampert, you're gonna have <laughs> plenty of water moves, but, uh... Yeah, okay. Waterfall. Here we go. I don't... Actually, we will need Dive again, but I think... We can get rid of Surf and put... Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of Dig for now. Let's just get rid of Dig for now. There we go. Three water moves on Swampert. You're pretty much like Breloom there, Swampert. Alright, head up directly right in front of the water. I was actually three away from that, wow. Scale the waterfall with Swampert. And we still are in Evergrande City. Let's see, what does this actually say? Evergrande City, the paradise of flowers, the sea, and Pokemon. And there is a Pokemon Center right here, so I can do my traditional send-off where we head inside the Pokemon Center. Very good. Plus, my team actually needs a little bit of TLC. So with that, thank you for watching, and next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, we head inside that cave there. A little cave known as Victory Road. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then.